Now, keeping the streets clean and free from litter has been a constant and expensive battle for local councils over the years, but now Plymouth is at the forefront of a new way to tackle the problem. Yes, instead of fining people for dropping their rubbish, those who do the right thing and put it in the bin could be in line for a reward. We heard lots of comments about this on our Facebook page, which we'll be taking a look at in a moment. But first, Johnny Rutherford reports on how this new scheme will work. Maybe get up. What? Maybe get up. This is the anti-litter campaign video for Clean Up Britain. It's part of a two-week pilot project aimed at the local community in Plymouth. According to campaigners, 48% of us have admitted dropping litter at some stage in our life. Next week here in Plymouth, they're going to reward people who put litter in the bin. Dropping litter is an absolute lazy thing to do and we want to change mindsets. If you put your litter in the bin, you will get an incentive. Yeah, we are giving away free tickets for the National Marine Aquarium, giving away free tickets for kitty rides, yes, um, goodie bags from, from the retailers. So that people are learning, doing litter in the bin is a positive thing. I asked Plymouth shoppers what they thought of the idea of rewarding those who do the right thing. And people should do it anyway. They should know that they've got to keep Plymouth tidy. A lot of people in Plymouth are lazy. They can't be bothered to walk to a bin and find the time to put rubbish in the bin, so they just put it on the floor. Yeah, no, they should be fine for putting it on the floor, but definitely um, shouldn't be rewarded putting it in the bin. I think it's a fantastic idea. I mean, you hear all these stories of people being fined for dropping a pasty, like a crumb of a pasty or something. And so to flip that on its head and actually reward people for doing the right thing, I think it's a step in the right direction and I think it's a really good incentive. Yeah, well, what are they going to do? Like hide behind the bins and then give them a fiver? Like, <laughs> jump up like... In fact, a trash tag team with fluorescent vests will be on the lookout from next week, handing out sports tickets, amongst other prizes, donated by local businesses. Let's obliterate litter! It's trying to instil a bit more pride in, in, for people with the city that they live in. We've acquired that over the years. I think people are drop litter unknowingly. And what we want to do is make them more conscious of the fact of the unpleasantness of seeing litter around the street and sometimes hazards of litter as well. So as the video suggests, if you're a good sport and bin your litter, you may end up winning in more ways than one. Johnny Rutherford, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth. Well, John Reid is from Clean Up Britain, which is backing this latest attempt to deal with litter. Earlier we asked him about the thinking behind the campaign in Plymouth. Yeah, the thinking behind the approach is really very straightforward in that we're working in partnership with um, sports teams in particular in Plymouth, with Plymouth Argyle, Plymouth Albion uh, Rugby Union Club, Plymouth Raiders basketball team, um, to try and get the power and the sort of drawing, pulling power they've got, if you like, with a lot of younger people in particular, to get the message through that uh, littering is a very bad thing to do and they shouldn't do it for a whole number of reasons. And therefore we're working closely in partnership with those organisations and others to, uh, to to deliver this campaign from the 17th to the 31st of this month. And what is it about your campaign? It's the carrot rather than the stick approach. What is it about that that you hope will make the difference? Well, yes, it's, it's, it's both in actual fact. To begin with, it's absolutely carrot in that people will uh, be going around Plymouth City Centre and if they do the right thing, if they put their litter in the bin, they may well get uh, tapped on the shoulder literally and said, oh, we saw you putting your litter in the bin. Well done, that's what you should be doing. Here's two free tickets to Plymouth Argyle Football Club, for instance, or to go to the aquarium. And it's been absolutely wonderful the response we've had from people in Plymouth here and organisations who are part of this campaign, who have given away loads of free tickets to be involved and for us to be able to incentivise and reward people for doing the right thing. And that's all it is. It's as simple as that. But at the end of that, you say there's going to be a back-to-a-stick approach. Yes, because uh, a stick approach the, um, to the extent that, of course, we can't go around for weeks and weeks giving away free prizes <laughs> as if it's Alice in Wonderland here in Plymouth. And therefore, uh, we've got to resort to a bit of reality. And the reality is, unfortunately, is that Plymouth City Council are spending hundreds of thousands of pounds a year, like many councils up and down Britain, on this terrible own goal, if I can use the sporting analogy. And the own goal is that we don't need to be doing this. It's such a simple thing to do. It doesn't cost anyone any money or anything. 
making hardly any effort just to put their litter in the bin. And by doing that, they keep the place a nicer place for us all to be living in. Uh, and a lot of the associated problems with litter, which are social problems, financial problems, and many others besides, would disappear as well. So we're asking people just to look after the place where they live and work and play. And it's being launched in Plymouth. Why is it that Plymouth was chosen? Yeah, it is being launched in Plymouth because uh, Plymouth is a wonderful city with a great uh, history, pride and heritage. Um, in actual fact, also, uh, we've got three major professional sports teams here, as you well know. We're working as, as well with the um, Students' Union, the university, with a 30,000 or so plus uh, student population. And therefore, it was a very, very good place for us to be able to pilot this project. And on the basis of it going well and being successful, we're hoping to roll it out across other towns and cities uh, throughout England. Well, we'll be keeping a close eye on it. John Reid, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And lots of comments coming in from you about this story. Uh, Jeanette on Facebook says, lead by example and teach your offspring to put their litter in their pockets until they spot a bin. You shouldn't need rewarding. Barry has got in touch via Facebook as well and says, use cameras to identify litter bugs and find them, or better still, give them community service picking up litter. And Karen says, worth a try. Punishment and campaigning haven't worked. But at the end of the day, educating from a young age is the best if everybody did it. Thank you for all the comments. Have a look at the Spotlight Facebook page to see what other people are saying about that.